Nicknamed the Iceman. For his cool style of play, George Gervin can get a bucket anytime he wanted. Known for his trademark shot, the finger roll. Gervin is one of the only five players in league history to have won four or more scoring titles. They call him the Iceman, Mr. Cool. George Gervin and I started playing with each other and playing. He played for me in my first AAU team when he was 15 and I was 18. I had just came back from the Olympics with my gold medal on my neck and stuff. And so they said, put together an AAU team. And I recruited George Gervin, Bubba Hawkins, and all of those guys. And George, I mean, after the first few practices, we were like, He's, he's going to get 40 every game because no one could stop him. George Gervin was so good that there was nothing you could really do defensively against him because he had the moves, he had the shooting touch, he had the imagination, and he had the ability to create everything for himself. Iceman, that's my rookie right there. You know, he's... Uh... I see him today, I mean, I'm, I'm 71, and he's 69 probably, maybe 70. I said, come here, Rook. <laughs> I, need a, I need a soft drink. Uh, I need sugar for my coffee, whatever, you know. And he responds to it, and we just laugh. So we have come full cycle right from that first day when he when he showed up, and he had to shoot for his contract. <laughs> and, he, and he was out there dropping three-pointers like they were free throws. I'm like... Oh, we got a special guy here. Hello, the Iceman does it all. Well, George Gervin certainly hits a little closer to home for you. It does, Jared. Hey, he's a Detroit native from the east side of Detroit. Uh, he's the reason why I love the game of basketball. Not only that, George Gervin was one of these guys everybody loved, but being from Detroit, I got a chance to see him, talk to him, be around him, pick his brain, and... He's always been that guy for me that I got, I got a chance just from an early age that I can count on asking questions, you know, as a guy in high school, then as it, our relationship continues, here's a guy I could pick his brain, talk about the NBA, and then I got a chance to play in San Antonio, the same organization that he made a lot of things famous, you know, like the finger roll. Smitty, that, that finger roll is one of the iconic moves in the history of the NBA. It is, Jared, and one of the hardest moves. I mean, you really have to have a skill set to pull off the finger roll. There's a lot of guys that kind of dropped it in. You know, George talked about the big dipper, Wilt dropping it in. You had Connie Hawkins, but the flair and the little bit of swag that George put on his finger roll was like a flip. And from the distance that he got a chance to make finger rolls and the angles off the glass, high off the glass, the spins, he was just one of those players. It was hard to mimic and everybody in Detroit tried to be like George. Smitty, every night in every arena, everybody knew the ball was gonna be in Iceman's hands, yet nobody could stop him. Why not? You know, I think because of his skill set, and I think people don't really understand, he was a guy that could score in so many ways. He was a guy that was athletic, but never really used his athleticism. I mean, he was a guy that could dunk it, he could block shots as a big guard, but what I think George loved the most is making bank shots, making awkward shots scoring the ball and shooting a high percentage. That's the one thing George really prided himself on. And I think uh, George, what he always talked about, he wanted to score, but he also wanted to entertain. And I think that's what separated George Gervin. Gervin, the Iceman. He was developing the finger roll when he was 15. At that time in Detroit, we used to love watching Wilt Chamberlain finger roll. So George, you know, developed that finger roll and he was above the rim anyway, so he just yeah, laid in nicely, beautifully. Oh, Gervin, wow. Very difficult shot, really is. You know, you got the little runners, got the little push shots that these guys have. But not many people got that little finger roll, where it just rolls right off his fingers and just rolls right in over seven footers. Didn't, he, didn't even matter. And if he had to throw it up a little high, he will say stuff like, get the next one. Stretching out. I mean, he's talking while he's doing this. Oh, yes! George Gervin with a tremendous one-on-one -on -one move. He had incredible style. And one of them was the, the finger roll, you know. So I said to George, you know, uh, you're not really the, the first person to do the finger roll. It was uh, Will Chamberlain just kind of dumped and 
dumped the ball in on the finger roll. Uh, Joy said, hey, I just took it to another level. He's smooth. He's the ice man. 